Hi Taurus, welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. If you're new here, I hope you like and subscribe. It's going to be a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Taurus in your chart, uh, it may resonate. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Uh, whether you're new or returning, I have some new um, messages in my index deck since the last time we had a reading, Taurus. I hope you're happy, healthy, and well since our last reading. I hope you've been checking out the other signs in your chart because you could find messages that resonate for you even more so than this one. And just by checking out those readings, you're helping my channel grow. So I really appreciate that. And I appreciate you, Taurus. Um, when I shuffle, if I haven't shared this before on the channel, when I shuffle, I try not to look at the cards because I don't want to be led one way or another. Like, I've also noticed when I watch other tarot readers, like, I'll notice them, like, looking away from the cards that they're shuffling. And I consciously do that. But sometimes the cards flip out or pop out and obviously sometimes you see things and I try to jot down on my like pre-message and my notes before uh, for the reading um, the cards that I see and these cards were talking to me before I started this just felt weird in my hands so I'm gonna stop here I feel like this card was gonna fold um, so we'll stop here for the index deck. But the tarot cards were talking to me. I saw five different tarot cards between my three tarot decks, and I never see that many. And I'm realizing now five is the Taurus, the Hierophant. So first pre-message I have is that there is a Taurus who either you look young to begin with or you're looking younger or you've returned to like an old look that you used to have. Like maybe in your 20s, you used to let your hair be naturally curly and wavy and then you started to straighten it. Well, now you, you're doing like the curly natural look again and it's like a, the look that you had when you were younger or something about cutting your hair is coming to my mind. Like maybe someone had a pixie cut had a one of those before it was called the Karen cut but the look of god I'm thinking of Kirsten Dunst in um Crazy Beautiful that short kind of pixie look that was in in the late 90s early 2000s um maybe you used to have that haircut or maybe that's the look you were going for something from the 2000s and it's the that look that you're going for that was big when you were younger that you now have i don't know i'm being led down a rabbit hole with this but someone is looking young maybe you already look young to begin with um maybe people are kind of surprised to hear how old you are um uh, it's not a bad thing believe you me Taurus um but it could also be someone going to a look that they had when they were like in high school maybe even um maybe like for a guy maybe in high school you used to rock a a chin strap or a goatee and you've been clean shaven for how for 20 years and now you're starting it again okay this is the card that felt odd in my hand. You, they have the other's best interest. Having the other's best interest. Lifestyle changes. So someone could be changing their lifestyle. Um, you have you're helping someone or someone's helping you with a change of lifestyle because they have your best interest or you have their best interest in um in mind and in heart are you meeting me halfway maybe like two people all right i'm already getting like a partnership where it's like someone is like you need to change this or we need to like maybe the doctor said something was really high someone's i don't even know cholesterol blood pressure whatever and the partner's like 
okay, I know that you need to make those changes. I don't need to make those changes, but I'm going to make them too to support you because I have your best interest. <clears throat> It'll be okay. I also want to say there's something here about a child. Maybe it's someone's child that it's like they need a very strict diet or they need things... Um, I'm hearing for processing purposes. Maybe they have to avoid processed food. There's like a really serious like allergen to certain foods. So even though it's not a, it, the rest of the family or like the parent isn't affected, they're still following this strict diet or following this eating um, lifestyle to support their child. Opposites attract. Shady is the last one. Are you being met halfway? The bottom of the deck is wild. There's a red card popping out and I just want to look at it. It says nothing to worry about. That's what's popping out at me. not getting any younger i'm being honest they i you know better i've never been in love um you know this is just like i don't ever think i ever talk about like health issues or get a strong health reading i'm getting a very strong health reading i'm getting someone who's like um, I'm going to read this as many ways as it's coming to me, but first off, it's like <clears throat> someone who knows they have, like I watched this TikTok the other day. It was like when your best friend decides not to care, she has IB, IBS and she was eating food in a restaurant she knew she shouldn't be eating and then like the next thing it was is like 10 minutes later and the friend is like sweating needs to start finding a bathroom it's like 15 minutes later it's like they're frantic like she knew she shouldn't have done that but she did it she's not supposed to eat those foods she has to look like I'm just this is all what's coming to my mind so it's it's giving me like someone who's like lactose intolerant who knows if they eat an ice cream sundae they will be sick for the next day but they're like fuck it i'm gonna do it and they they i want it and i don't care maybe they're pissed about something maybe i don't even know and they consume something that they know they shouldn't be consuming because of the effects it'll have on them um, I also get this feeling of, um, if it's a new connection or a new relationship, oh, I never even shared the cards that I saw. Um, if it's a new connection or a new relationship, it's like, um, someone rising to the occasion is coming to my mind. Like someone stepping up, someone doing maybe what they know they should be doing, um, treating this connection right caring about themselves because they care about the connection um something like that the cards i saw that i never shared and i should have shared were um i was shuffling and then a card fell out and fell to the floor and i just looked at the two cards like the either ends of the deck that were in my hands before i went and got what fell to the floor and on my left was the Eight of Pentacles, and on the right was the Fool. And I was like, oh, something's a new, great new beginning. Something's been a great opportunity. And the card that fell on the floor was, this was in the Modern Witch deck. It was Everything is Fine, which looks like the Ten of Swords. So I started to think that, like, 
something great has come after a really hard ending or a really terrible loss. For some reason, like miscarriage came to my mind or something of something with children it could have been even a fur baby like um and then what came after has been this like wonderful beginning and great blessing it could have even been like a job loss a terrible ending or just leaving a situation a, a living situation a relationship something can a job that it was a really hard hurtful ending it, it was even as you were going through the ending, you were like, you couldn't believe how bad it is. And now you're on the other side of that. And this new beginning has been much more stable and promising. And it could look, I'm thinking even literally like quitting a job for something right then and there, like ending something really quick. <clears throat> um, I also saw Queen of Swords, which is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I saw the moon reverse, which is cancer energy. And that could be sharing something. Doesn't it, male or female, it's talking about, something's telling me it's something emotional, sharing emotions, sharing what someone has been thinking about and maybe worrying about a little bit. Um, Let's keep going. As always, let me know in the comments if it resonates, how it resonates. The likes, they go a long way. I really appreciate you, Taurus. King of Pentacles reversed. Earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The first card to pop out. Five, six, seven of Pentacles reversed. Well... Page of Cups... Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups reversed. swords reversed and I saw the queen of swords earlier the chariot reverse another moon card four of pentacles knight of wands four of wands reversed the fool reversed I get the feeling of something that's like going on or like, but it's not really either shared with other people. Like this is a behind the doors disagreement. Um, or yeah, like nobody knows that this is what's going on behind closed doors when two people are together, that there's this, um, disagreement. I get a, a one person like really harping on the other person about either money or their um health i'm re i'm getting uh, phew. maybe someone's being kind of deceptive with money or what they've spent their money on I'm hearing like burning a hole in someone's pocket. <clears throat> the devil reverse is popping out. What is someone spending their money on? I keep wanting to say like it could be food, something food related. 
or something else that they're just Four of Swords, Knight of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Pentacles reversed, the Star reversed, Aquarius energy. So Capricorn is here, which is another Earth sign. With the Devil reversed, King of Pentacles reversed, Seven of Pentacles reversed. I'm really, this, I'm really thinking some kind of awful thoughts in my mind, but... It's like not someone can't, isn't doing well with money and um, I don't think they've told you or they're, they like don't want to talk about, like this is giving me like almost Spending addiction, the Empress Reverse just popped out. <clears throat> um, I'm also just going to say it like I, I'm thinking it too. Seven of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Reverse, the Moon. This is giving me something like, um, wow, now I'm looking at lifestyle changes, shady, wild. This is not going to resonate for everybody, Taurus. I'm just going to share this, but it's like someone who's spending their money on either um, pornography or like maybe OnlyFans or like they're spending their money on... Um, I don't mean to sound judgmental, but this is how it's coming up. It's like they're spending something, they're spending money and putting energy into something that it's like they know they shouldn't be doing this. They know it's not good for them. This could be a gambling addiction now that I think about it. Knight of Swords reverse came over and fell next to my word shady. Eight of Swords. I hate to say, like, because I don't have an answer, but there are things that someone does not know. Conversations that are happening right around them. Five of Swords. Ace of Swords reversed, King of Cups reversed, Seven of Cups again, Knight of Pen Someone likes having options. I don't know what kind of options these are. Someone is not being truthful and honest with their feelings or how they feel. They are, they want like their options for who they can give to or what they can give to. These were two other people that that person was talking to. Those conversations have ended. Maybe people got hurt.
this is what someone could be thinking is happening. Like there may be no proof of this. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. I get some like this feeling of like, um, wow, and the King of Wands is right here. Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Pentacles. Damn, someone is like, this is very cut and dry, like very cut and dry. I feel like there's a couple right now that one of them, has lost money or is losing money has the threat of losing everything going from ten of pentacles to five of pentacles if it's found out that there's a third partner here that there's a third energy here if it's found out what did i tell you she is bitching at this person right now This, to me, I'm hearing, like, whew, and death reversed right there with the king. I'm just hearing, like, someone threatening a divorce. I will take half of everything you have. Like, I just feel this is very cut and dry if it's found out to be a third energy in here. This king of wands is not fucking around, and I... It doesn't matter if it's male or female. However this resonates, it's like someone is either keeping conversations, I don't want to say secret, but hidden. If it's found out, like, whew, I get, I'm hearing like deleting text messages. I'm hearing like, you wouldn't see these conversations because someone's deleting them. The emperor reversed is out here now next to the devil. So we have the empress reverse and the emperor reversed. The king of swords is now upright. Knight of wands, temperance, sag energy, the magician, queen of swords reversed. Wow, this is like, I hate to be like this, but I've never seen like a reading so clearly speak to me that someone was doing something outside the connection that has to do with like lust. Something that had been brewing, this attraction between two people, something that was brewing and um, there was either secret communication or like it just, I'm hearing like it just happened. And it had, I think it's left someone in a state of almost like confusion. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. That's what I saw in the very beginning of this reading. The first card I ever saw when I was, I had a car fa card fall, everything is fine. The card on the left was Ace of Pentacles. things that may not have happened these may have be things that someone is just thinking about but this just very clearly is speaking to me of the knight of swords reverse just fell over again to the other knight of swords reverse ah. nine of swords nine of pentacles five of wands Five of Swords reversed, and I've already seen that one. Eight of Cups, eight, eight of Pentacles reversed, Temperance reversed, the Tower reversed. Wow, this is very, um,
I feel like if something comes out that someone was deceptive or following lust that wasn't, um, was going against a connection that they were in, I think one person of the, of the two is going to be like, a-okay. And the other will be fighting like, um, like fighting themselves for why they did what they did. I'm getting one person ending up financially because... It's almost like, um, someone doesn't fight against it because they know they did something wrong or what they shouldn't have done. So they don't fight against something that has to do with finances. And it results in one person being very financially secure and all set. And the other person is like grappling with the decisions that they made and the actions that they took. I get someone who had options, maybe multiple options, and then when the time comes where maybe they are caught or they're busted or this all comes to light and finally it was the last straw that broke the camel's back and someone's like, you know what? You can have all them. I'm all set. I'm all out. They're fine. They're happily being single. This other person who had the options is like, what? They don't want any of those people anymore. They don't want any of those people that they were wasting time with talking to because they were addicted to having multiple options and having almost like a shady other lifestyle. One person's like, you know what? I'm not fighting against this. I'm just going to accept it for what it is and accept that this is what you want and I'm not going to fight against this anymore. You can live the life that you want. I'm going to go do my thing. All of a sudden, this person's like, what? I don't want any of that. I just want this. Like, I, I don't want to talk to them anymore. I just want you. But someone is going to... I just heard be faced with a reckoning by having to face that their actions and decision making is what led to this happening. Taurus, if this resonates, please let me know. This was some juicy, juicy business and I don't ever feel like I get this juicy with readings but please let me know if it resonates I will catch you on the flip